Chapter 3, number 15. Write the balanced chemical equation corresponding to each of the following descriptions. Solid calcium carbide reacts with water to form an aqueous solution of calcium hydroxide. Don't forget the 2 down here, because calcium is plus 2. And acetylene gas. Acetylene gas is C2H2. Going to need a 2 in front of the water, and it's balanced. Letter B, when solid potassium chlorate is heated, KClO3, it decomposes to form solid potassium chloride, KCl is potassium chloride, plus 1, minus 1, and oxygen gas, O2. Don't forget it's diatomic. To balance this one, you're going to need a 2 here and you're going to need a 2 right here to make sure that you got an even number of those. Notice you got 6 oxygens here, so you need a 3 here. Some books will put a triangle over the top of the arrow, meaning that it's heated. Letter C, solid zinc metal, that's Zn, reacts with sulfuric acid, H2SO4, to form hydrogen gas, H2, remember it's diatomic, and an aqueous solution of zinc sulfate. Zinc's always plus 2, sulfate is minus 2. That one's already balanced. D, when liquid phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus, and three chlorines, a molecular compound, so that's why you use the prefixes on it, is added to water, it reacts to form aqueous phosphoric acid, H3PO3, phos I'm sorry, phosphorus acid, and aqueous hydrochloric acid, so HCl in there as well. Take an atom inventory of this one, and you'll find out that you have uh, a need for three chlorines, so you'll have to put a three here. That means that now you have six hydrogens over here, so you need a three right here to get six of those. It gives you three oxygens and three oxygens. Letter E, hydrogen sulfide gas. Don't forget it's H2S right here. It's passed over hot iron three. That means it's positive three hydroxide OH. Don't forget the parentheses there. The result in a reaction produces iron 3 sulfide, iron 3 sulfide, positive 3, sulfide's minus 2. Remember, it's in group 16, so it's going to have a minus 2 charge right here. Crisscross those, 2 here, 3 here. The charges go away then. Uh, and gaseous water, so some HOH. So take an atom inventory here, 2 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen, we're good to go. Um, but you'll notice that we need some irons, so you're going to have to put a 2 here. That messes up the oxygens, because now you got 6 hydrogens right here and 2 uh, oxygens right there. Turns out that you're going to need to have, um, let's see, um, probably a 3 in front of this, because that gives you 6 plus 6, or 12 hydrogens. Then you can put a 6 here, and you get 6 oxygens here, and you have 2 times 3, or 6 oxygens there.